in this video, we'll be diving into Skinny Me Tea. What I really noticed about this product that, that makes it very, very like, like driven into sales, but also very reflective to their customers is the fact that they have a program along with it. Like if you guys think about it, right? It not only solves the problem, but it solves it in a way where it's able to build habits so that this makes, it makes this product very, very sticky and it has like a subscription based type of formula to it like you know you have to buy this pack for 28 days etc right depending on how long you have to drink it and then from that it builds not only discipline and habits but also builds good results and because of that they're able to um you know really utilize their product in a way where it becomes like a program slash product if that makes sense now that's what i really like about this brand um but in terms of the store setup, it's very simple, very easy. Are they like quote unquote social proof and trust badges right here, made in Australia. So they're only targeting the Australian market. Um, 10 years in business, another social proof of why people should work with them. AKA another form of proof with reviews and social proof. The, the way that this brand works is the fact that um, it's able to build transparency through their website, but also at the same time, we got some more social proof, more proof here. Um, reasons to buy but again I hope you guys understand what I mean by this that if you can build your product into not only a product but also slash service that makes it 10 times more stickier in terms of just getting more and more and more customers to stay with you for long periods you'll have like a substantial business and that's the whole point of building a brand or business is to make it make it so the point where you know your customers will come back all the time and always have repeat purchases. Now that's the mistake that most people make in terms of dropshipping is like the fact that they believe if we do, you know, one product, etc., and we believe that, oh, we might make money there and then we lose the sale. The whole goal is to make it recurrent, make it more sticky so that more customers will come to you. But also it builds up the foundation of trust and social proof like this. Let's see if they made any sales right now. Oh, well, made made a sale three hours ago, three hours ago, eleven hours ago. So I genuinely think that this must be a seven figure or multi six figure store. I'm guessing. Um, you know, as long as she has at least a thousand to ten thousand customers, you know that they're going to be a multi six figure, seven figure figure store, based on the amount that they. How much do they charge? Eighty dollars. You know, I don't know what the profit margin on this is because she makes it herself. But um, I'm guessing, you know, if it's $20 and then it costs $5 to acquire a customer, let's say for example, so it's $25. If we really break down the math here, guys, it's very simple. Like, like let's say for example, right? It costs her $80 or it doesn't cost her $80. She charges $80 per customer right here on, on this one, you know? And then let's say uh, it takes, I don't know, like $25 to acquire the customer and also to um, get the product, etc., and send it across, etc. So she makes like at least a $55 profit on every single product. And this is gross net profit margins. Again, I don't know if this is true, but this is what I'm guessing. So if she makes how many units, right? Let's say, for example, we have a thousand customers that buy that amount based on that order, you know, the average order value of 55 $55 in profit, but $80 is what they, what they purchase based on revenue. So if it's a thousand, right, you're easily making 55,000 just on one product here. So guys, if you understand what I mean by this, you understand, um, that you can win with any product. It just depends on how you market it how you build trust and how you really, um, you know, accumulate the type of customers you really want until you figure out your ideal customer and figure out how you want to outline that through your website that is where you're going to win. Now, the good thing about this is that they have a one click button to check out. Like it's very, very, very efficient. Like we all know this is a Shopify website right here, as, as you guys can see, but this is what makes it so useful guys. Like it's just one click of button and they're already at the cart, you know, and this is something that I, I highly recommend that you guys try. Um, you guys have one click to check out. It'll help you guys so much. But if you guys can really build a business where it's no longer a Shopify product, it's a Shopify product slash program like this, so that it makes it more sticky, allows more customers to use your product 
and you know allows for long term and longevity growth because what they have here is not only a um, product that they're selling one time they made a product where it's a program for 28 days so the customer must come back in 28 days to replenish that product in order to get the results again and this is why it's so useful and you know at the end of the day right the bigger the problem that you solve with your product the more money you'll make and this is what i like about this business so if you found that video very informative very useful for your business and for your shopify stores check out this other video i made here on another store it's going to be the first link in the description